for me. I think they're here for Tua. Let's go see him, right? Let's oh, go down there and check out Tua. Is he down there? Oh, yeah, yeah. he's here. All right, Tua, Tonga by Lolo on the Up and Adam show. Let's see. Where is he? Nate, you literally look like you're slaying vampires. Hey, you, know you want to talk about what I wear? Tua! Dang. Good to What's see up, you. Baby? How you doing? How you doing, man? It's been a long time it's since uh, long time. camera, talking to people. Right. We, we love it. Job. We love seeing you. Congratulations on the season. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you. I said before the season, you're going to shut everybody up, and you did that. And now you're here <laughs> to not shut up about everything you're doing with Subway. Tell us about it. Yeah, so um, I teamed up with Subway, and uh, Subway's helping level up uh, fan Super Bowl experience okay. at home uh, okay. through their new Subway series. Okay, well, we love to hear that, and we love to hear that you are also doing some sort of trivia. Are you going to make Nate and I look bad right now? Uh, no, not we really. We got nothing but love for you, Tua. It shouldn't be that bad. It should be pretty easy. Okay. Maybe for you, maybe not for Nate. I'm not too sure. Oh, it's right. wow! Let's see. Woo! Come on, man. I can read it. Tell me what I need Shots to do. Shots fired. All right. All right. They're leveling up the Super Bowl experience, and you've got some trivia for me. Let's go. Correct. All right. So, first question. How many rushing touchdowns oh, gosh. did me, Tua Tungvalu, okay. did I have in 2021? 2021? 2021. How many rushing touchdowns? I'm going to say six. I'm going to say five. Okay. Oh, is it one of these numbers? Sure. <laughs> okay. It's one of these it numbers? It is one of the, the well, you should have actually. Is it, is it the I'm boss? Sorry. Okay. I don't know. What do you don't know? I'm going with eight, eight rushing touchdowns. Okay. Oh, eight. we're opening it up. <gasps> what is it? I mean, it's right. What do I, I do? Know, try, I don't know either. <laughs> oh, so I think I want first to of all, six. First of all, you don't have to laugh at me if okay, I get it wrong. Why is it warm and it smells delicious? Subway. Is this, I mean, Subway. Oh, it's my gosh. Water. I need to eat that. That's amazing. Yeah, okay. That's that's point. That's open three. Point. Marissa's telling us to open three. Now, what's that one? Oh, this is fresh. I thought you were going to ask me how many touchdowns you had, and it was 25 this year because you crushed it. So are you going to start eating this? I already know. Okay. What's, which, okay. one, which one's your favorite Subway sandwich, Tua? I am... What you, that you're one? going with the monster. The monster. Um, so if you can create your own Subway sandwich, what would it be? Oh. Yeah. If I could create my own, uh, I would say because I'm a pretty simple guy, um, it would be normal wheat. Okay. Wheat bread. Turkey, okay. Yeah. Lettuce, yeah. Tomatoes, okay. Yeah. That's just uh, salt and pepper, it's just, it's vinegar. It's old school. It's oh, a little fun, vinegar. Yeah. You, you can put some like. But listen, I, ju I just teed you up perfectly for the alley oop. You're supposed yes. to say the tua melt. The tua Doesn't that make sense? It's great. We'll talk more about Subway. Let's come up here. Tom, do you want to come sit with us on the couches? <laughs> All right, everybody, uh, Subway leveling up the Super Bowl experience. You've got the new menu, the okay. Subway series at home and here well, in Arizona. Back, okay. What's going so on let's here? Say, why don't you come sit over here with us? Okay, okay, there you go. I'll let, I'll let, I'll let you sit right there, fam. Now, when you look back at this year that you had, and I said that the, the, the touchdowns, you proved a lot of people wrong. How do you look back and define what 2022 was for you? There was some adversity, of course. Yeah, I... I think it was it was the best year I've I've had, um, and the best year that um, I felt in the building uh, mm. with with the people, uh, with with the camaraderie of the guys. It was it was 360 from from what I I've seen coming into the NFL, and uh, just the belief of of the the players in each other, um, the belief of the coaches in the players. It, it 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 was something that that was totally different for me, and um, now I'm very proud of how our team battled through uh, a lot of adversity this year with the injuries at yeah. not just the quarterback position but other positions as well, defensively and then up front uh, for our line. So I I'm I'm very proud, and and you know I'm your I'm best happy. year. You're the best you've ever felt. We love to hear that. Yeah, no doubt about it. I when I had uh, my cup of coffee in Cleveland, which was my last stop with the Browns um, before I retired, my wide receivers coach was Mike McDaniel. Mm. And I remember thinking to myself, this dude is as cool as it mm. gets, and he cares. And sometimes people may think that's a bad thing for a coach, but I've always thought if a coach cares about you as a person, he's going to care about you even more as a player. I saw initially when you guys connected that the relationship was different and you talk about belief. It's coaches believing in players. How much of Mike McDaniel showing up as a coach that believed in you on and off the field helped you be the guy you were? 
yeah, it helped tremendously. It, it skyrocketed my confidence. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I've said this um, before. He sat me down, uh, brought me up in the office and told me, um, you know, like, dude, do you not understand, like, the kind of player you are? Do you, like, mm. like... And he I'm showed like, you film, right? I'm like, sure. And, you know, he, he comes and shows me film. But outside of that, like, me not knowing, like, he showed the entire staff, like, the film. And he 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 got, you know, like, um, the owner to come and watch this. And he was just so excited. Wow. And just, just thinking of of uh, someone that has belief in you. Yeah. It's not you that they're they're only trying to convince, you know, to believe in yourself, but it's everyone else that believed in you at one point and yeah. then now has been questioned because of things and being that's not easy. displayed through the media. Because as a coach, he's putting his name on the line in front right. of the other coaches and players. And an the, owner. The, yeah, and the owner. The reason I love that story, when you told that, um, it brought back a memory. When I first signed with the Cleveland Browns, I'm an older wide receiver. I'm 33 years old um, at the last years of my career i walk in we have these young guns in there you got josh gordon and andrew hawkins willie Sneed, taylor gaber all these young guys young superstars and the first thing he does when he walks he introduces me he says hey this is nate bros and the guys are kind of like oh what's up man how you doing you know they're doing the whole young guy thing and he's like okay i know you guys think you know who he is mm. watch this mm. pops on tape of my entire 11 year career wow music in the background and it was a remi reminder of me, too. Yeah, that'll yeah. work, that'll yeah. work for me. I feel good. These guys yeah. are turning around looking at me like, oh, gee, that's you? And But that was him giving the ultimate effort into making everybody yeah. see you the way that you should be seen. Mm. And it just does so much for players' confidence. Well, I got yeah. some tape to show you because what I've been doing, I've been playing with this 2022 script action. Everybody's been handed their NFL script. I picked a play from this year that made me so proud to be a Tua fan. So let's look at the Tua Tonga by Loa 2022 NFL script as loved by the Up and Adam show. This was a big year, but this was week two. Do you remember this one against the Ravens down 35-14 going into the fourth quarter? Talk me through this play to us mm. yeah well i i think on that one I mean, <laughs> second second so second second game of the year yeah i mean you battled back you were battled down back. this is the fourth quarter this Looked is a throw like to tyreek hill well can't can't throw throw the deep ball for <laughs> one <laughs> did you guys saying. hear that excuse me say that one more time can't what can't throw the deep, can't throw the, the deep ball that's interesting early, early in the year but Woo! I, I think the, the the coolest thing though uh about about that um was that it it really showed the perseverance of our team early 100%. in the year um and the kind of guys that we had both offense and defensively you look at the beginning the first half uh, yeah. things weren't going our way uh and we were down by 21 and so the perseverance that, that you know game. our guys had and, and came out with in the second half, no, that was just prime just example a that. prime example of, of um, that playing out throughout the season too. Ty Tyreek talks about how you know he can outrun any quarterback, and you know even when he's talking about Patrick Mahomes, it doesn't matter who's throwing him, right or left-handed, tall or short, stronger, weak. He just talks about how fast he is, and I find it hilarious because. Randy Moss used to say the same thing to Dante Culpepper. They'd be at practice, and really? they'd just go back and forth talking. They're like brothers. <laughs> yeah. And Randy would be like, hey, Pep, you, you can't out throw me. I miss you, Randy and, Moss. <laughs> and Pep would be like, okay, I got you. I'm going to throw this one deep. And they'd be at practice doing this all game long. Does Tyreek ever, like, look at you and be like, hey, yo, I'm about to go, go on this one and, well, and give you a look at practice? No, he he just tells me – I. I can't out throw him. We don't ever, we don't ever like after practice. Hey, I'm gonna out throw you, yeah. or in in uh, routes on air, I'm gonna right. out throw you. Um, but is it a different type of speed with him though? Because I, I we see it from a so. distance. It's crazy, right? I would say so. It is definitely different. Like You're the fastest guy you ever played with. <sighs> Who could be faster? Who's That's close? Man. Who's well, close? Well, I I've had the 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 fortunate um, chance of of playing with some fast guys in college. Um, That's true. That is true. That is yeah, true. I would say Tyreek definitely. Yeah, Tyreek's He's the definitely fastest. The fastest. I wanted to say congratulations, Nate. So I sat next to Nate for six years. One of my favorite things about him is that he was a dad, a dad of three, the best dad. I was like, my gosh, if everybody could be a dad like Nate and love doing it, you have a new baby. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank How you. is that? Thank you. 
Tell it us. Is, it's the best thing. It's the best thing in the world. I, I know yeah. you can yeah. uh, relate. Um, changes your lens on how you see the world. Changes your lens on everything. Um, and I would say for me, most importantly, how uh, you you talk to people, how you treat people. Mm. Um, you know, how you look at other kids, too, now. Um, just life through a different lens is... Yeah. is Life becomes enhanced, I would oh, say. That's so that's beautiful. To put it. I have to ask you, though, because of that, and then the health stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Several concussions. Yep. How do you look at that differently now, being a dad, removed from the season and, mm -hmm. like, the craziness of it? Does it yeah. make you want to step back a little bit? Well, no. I, I, I don't think it, it makes me want to... Or it forces me to be to, to be afraid of, of wanting to come back and play. Um, it definitely uh, makes me want to do things to uh, help myself, you know, by hopefully, you know, not not being in those positions uh, next year. So, you know, we we'll, we we got like a, a plan set up, and I'll be doing uh, judo on Fridays just so that I can kind of figure out, you know, like understanding my body and how to fall and, and wait that's like what that. judo does You're about to be more dangerous than ever man oh man <laughs> i'm not, not trying to be a dangerous person in that way <laughs> just just trying to help help uh understand help the body and, and movement and, yeah yeah, yeah that i think sense. that's amazing uh Thank you. we're gonna get go to a break here i want you to just tell us really quickly about the 2023 miami dolphins with two with by what do we fans have to be excited about well i think the biggest thing to be excited about is um you know, having someone like Mike Big Daniel just come in the first year and, and the belief that he's shown in, in our team this year, you know, you guys can kind of see a glimpse. Um, it was very unfortunate and it was a series of bad luck that we had this year with injuries and um, and things like that. But I think uh, everyone has a lot uh, to look forward to with uh, with the team that we have. I will take a Tua, I'll take a number three, a number six from Subway. The Subway ah, series no is alive and well here at Tua World 57. Everybody can download the Subway app or go to Subway.com to pick your sandwiches. And by the way, we'll post we'll post Tua's menu for what he gets when he goes to Subway. And yeah. you guys can eat and be like Tua. The Tua melt was good though, Nate. Yeah, yeah, but his sandwich with the vinegar, I like that you one You like too. that. Are you getting hungry, Nate? Yeah, all right, all right. Let's go to the bar here in a bit. Thank you, Tua. Thank you.